Fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. of unrest that followed the Civil War, a powerful secret organization called the Legion of the Black Arrow sprang up in the western United States. Its members were to be found everywhere, defying the law or using the law for their own purposes, working toward the ultimate goal of revolt and the foundation of a despotic empire. It was the masked rider of the plains who led the fight against this band of outlaws and traitors, and for once his great strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness were taxed to the utmost in the cause of democracy. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of a great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're on the trail of the Black Arrow. Hail, Silver! Hi! Mary Hamilton was the postmistress at Painted Bend. One morning, just as she had finished sorting the mail... Someone knocked at the general delivery window. When do you open up here? Oh, uh, right away. Uh, what was it you wanted? I was wondering if you had some mail for me. What's the name? Jim Hamilton. Jim Hamilton? Oh, my goodness, it is you, Jim. Hello, sis. Oh, your face is so dirty I didn't recognize you. And your clothes. Come around and back so I can get a good look at you. I can't climb through this window. The door's over to your left. I'll unlock it. Come on in. You can sit down in that chair. No, thanks. I'd just as soon stand. I can't stay long. You can't stay long. You're looking fine, Mary. Well, I, I can't say the same for you. Where have you been? What have you been doing? Why haven't you let me hear from you? Oh, I'm no hand for writing letters. Well, you used to be a pretty fair hand at washing. You look like an outlaw, Jim. Do I? I'll give you the key to my cabin. You go over there and get cleaned up. You must have some better clothes with you. I'm sorry, Mary. That don't fit into my plans. You see, I just assumed folks didn't recognize me. You what? And I guess I can get by, all right. Even you didn't know it was me for a minute. Jim, is something wrong? Plenty. What? What have you done? Are you mixed up with the law some way? Well, I, I can't tell you much, sis, but I guess the answer to that is yes. Oh, Jim. There's no need to get excited about it. I'm not going to stay in town. Well, if you've done something, it won't do any good to keep running away. You've got to stand up and face the music. You let me handle it my own way, sis. I'm heading for Ghost Canyon. Why Ghost Canyon? Oh, it's a nice, quiet place. Well, they say there's outlaws there. Do they? A and things happen. Do you remember the big house up on the side of the canyon? Ned Rockwell's place? Where he used to live when the mine was going? Yes. Yeah, I remember. What about it? Well, Harry Starr was riding along the south trail the other night, and when he was passing the opening of the canyon, he could see the house. There was a funny blue light in one of the windows. <laughs> well, it's no laughing matter. Those old engine stories are coming back to life, huh? Harry isn't one to imagine things. Maybe not. 
and he, he heard a cry, like a wolf, only there was something human in it. Mm -hmm. Has the story gone the rounds yet? Well, naturally, everybody in town has heard it. They believe it, too, after what happened last week. What happened, then? The sheriff found a dead man at the opening of the canyon. Not a mark on him, and no papers either, nothing to tell who he was. The doctor said it was heart failure, and the folks that saw him said there was an awful look on his face, like he'd seen something horrible. So they're all steering clear of the canyon. Naturally. Well, what about the outlaws? Oh, that was a while back. Jed Hawkins saw a band of men with bandanas over their faces. It was up by the old mine. Near the house? Yes, but when the sheriff got up a posse and went after them, they were gone. Well, I ought to find it mighty peaceful in the canyon. You can't go there. I've got to. Oh, no, you haven't. I wouldn't care if the canyon was safe and the best place to hide out in the whole country. You aren't uh, aiming to turn me over to the sheriff, are you, Mary? I couldn't do that. You're my brother. But if you've done something wrong, you have to pay for it, Jim. You can't run away. You won't tell anybody about my coming here, will you? Not if you say I shouldn't. Then oh, don't. Wait. I wouldn't have tried it if I didn't think I could trust you. Oh, Jim, at least tell me I'll, what... I'll tell you this. If you should happen to see me in town, pretend you don't know me. That's important. And don't worry too much. I hope it won't be long before anybody I get... Anybody here? Somebody at the window. I'll let myself out the back door. Is anybody here? Uh, I'm coming. Good morning, miss. Or should it be ma'am? Miss is right. Uh, what can I do for you? Well, I just rode into town and... Ah, oh, there it is. Postmistress, Mary Hamilton. How do you do, Miss Hamilton? How do you do? I wonder if you can give me some information. I'll try. How do you get to a place called Ghost Canyon? You are... Uh, I mean, you... <laughs> Don't tell me a sensible-looking girl like you believes in those stories. What made you say that? Well, your face, you seem to be afraid. Oh, not at all. But there is something to the stories they tell, and don't fool yourself about it. I wouldn't go near Ghost Canyon. Well, I've got to, Miss Hamilton. This is business. Well, I don't see how that can be. There's nothing there but trees and rocks, a tumble-down old house and an old mine. And that's it. What? The mine. I'm an engineer, and I've got to take a look at it. Well, what for? That mine hasn't been worked for five years. Four years and 11 months, to be exact. Well, here's the situation. Ned Rockwell held that claim under the old law. If five years pass without any work being done on it, the claim goes back to the government, and it's open for prospecting once more. Ned Rockwell's dead. Yes. Right now, it's his nephew that holds the title. Oh, uh, he sent you to find out if the mine was really worked out? Oh, I sent myself. I'm the nephew. My name's Ned Rockwell, too. Oh, I see. There's no point in letting the mine go if it's worth anything. How do you get to the canyon? Well, you're a stranger around here. You might lose your way. You think I ought to get the sheriff to take me there? Oh, no. I... No, I guess it isn't as hard as all that. You just take the south trail out of town. The trees are pretty thick at the opening of the canyon, but if you look sharp, you can find it. Oh, thanks a lot. I suppose it's a waste of time. Oh, I'm but... sure of it. It wasn't any waste of time coming to Painted Bend. Even if the mine don't amount to anything, I'm going to do some prospecting around here. I, uh, aim to stay for a long time. Really? Say, did anyone ever tell you you were the prettiest girl in the whole United States? Well, if anyone ever did, I put him down for loco. Well, you can add my name to the list, Miss Hamilton. And it won't be the last time I'll say it. Is that all, Mr. Rockwell? That's all for today. See you tomorrow. Jim must be on his way there. I'll have to warn him not to go near the mine. The post office is closed for the next two hours. The Lone Ranger and Tonto had received a note from the mysterious girl. And in it were two words, Ghost Canyon. Without question, they had headed north to investigate, and they reached the canyon that night. Beyond the tangled opening near the south trail, the trees and undergrowth disappeared, but the walls rose sheer on either side, dark and forbidding. Then farther on, the rocky ground sloped more gradually toward the top of the ridge, and it was here that Ned Rockwell's mine was located. The Lone Ranger and Tonto reined up below it. Steady, Silver, steady, fellow. Most down. Most down. Ghost Canyon, Tonto. Uh... Plenty dark. Is that a coyote or a wolf? It not sound like either one. You're right. There was something strange about that cry. Uh, Indian tell many story about this canyon. 
Yes, I've heard them, Tonto. But we aren't interested in spirits. We're looking for men. Maybe Black Arrow used this place for hideout. The girl wouldn't have sent us here without a good reason. We've got to find out what it was. Kimasabi. You look. Where, Tonto? They're light. Yes. Someone's inside the house. What that? Sounds like a cry for help. It come from house. We're near it. Let's go. Get him up. Out the hill, Silver. Watch your step, Tonto. Uh, Some of these boards may be rotten. Uh, the door's open. That's right. Can't see any light now. Plenty dark. Yes. Much darker inside here. I'll light a match. Oh, nobody used this room for a long time. The kitchen must be that way. Why you want to go to kitchen? So they can smell cooking. Oh. Wait a minute now. I'll light another match. Oh. There's a lantern on table. Yes. Now we'll be able to see what's here. Oh, this is kitchen. There's stove. Still warm. Here's a skillet. It was used tonight. Oh. Marks in dust and floor, plenty fresh, too. Someone cooked supper here tonight. And then, listen. Out on the back porch. Man, Kimosabe. He's unconscious. There's water in here. Counter, get it. He hasn't been wounded. At least there's no... Oh, here's a nasty cut. Someone hit him over the head. Uh, here, water. You take bandana, wash cut. Oh, yes. Oh, he's coming around. Oh, don't. This might have been made by a gun butt. Maybe so. See if you can find any tracks, horses or men. Uh, time to do that. What? What happened? Someone hit you. Your mask. You're an outlaw. Uh, never mind that. We were down below when we heard you cry out. Haven't you any idea what happened? It was a wolf. Yes, we heard that too. I went out on the porch. It sounded awful close, but when I stepped through that door, something jumped on me. Something? You mean someone? I can only tell you what I thought. Of course, I just heard the wolf, and I had a feeling it was an animal. I tried to free myself. Well, that's all. Everything went black. And you were hit by a man. Uh, who are you? Ned Rockwell. This mine belongs to me. How long have you been here? Since noon today. I wonder... I wonder if there is something to those stories after all. Kimasabi. Did you find anything, Tonto? Ah, uh, place where horse was tied. Over there by the big pine? That's right. Well, that's where my horse was. Isn't he still there? No, horse not there. Were there any tracks? No. Ground plenty hard. Oh, wait a minute. A mask man and an engine. Maybe you've been using this place for a hideout. You didn't like me coming back here, so you tried to scare me out. That isn't true, Rockwell. No. Mask friend help you. Bandage him. Sure, after he hit me. Just so as I'd hightail it back to town and stay out of the canyon. You're making a mistake about us. But as for the rest of it, well, you may be right. Huh? You understand, Tonto? Uh, and what we do? We search the canyon. We can leave Rockwell here and... Kimasabi. Yes, I heard it. You heard what? Quick, Tonto. Put the lantern out. <sighs> you heard what? A noise inside the house. There's someone in there. I didn't hear anything, and I still think this is a trick. It may be, but we didn't plan it. Now, you stay here and try not to make any noise. Let's go, Tonto. Uh, you have gun ready. Did you locate the sound? Any idea where it came from? Maybe front room. That's the way it seemed to me. Door closed. We didn't close it. That's what we heard. You think wind? There is no wind. Well, here goes. There's a little light behind you, mister. One more step and I shoot. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. As the Lone Ranger opened the door from the kitchen to the front room, he stood outlined by the moonlight, and a voice from the darkness ordered him to stand where he was. Don't reach me your guns. Just unhitch your belt. What if I refuse? I'll have to let you have it. I know where you are now. Yeah? You're close to the front door. Maybe. You'd still have to guess a little. And me, I can see you. Don't forget my gun is drawn. It's leveled straight at you. So you don't think it would be a good idea to try and draw? It'd be the easiest way to commit suicide I ever heard of. Why are you here? You answer that question. Well, we heard someone call for help. We? Who's with you? No one. Not now. So you got a partner somewhere around? Somewhere. Go on. I'm not saying I'll believe this, but I'll listen. You heard a cry for help and you rode up here. That's right. We found a man out on the back porch. He was unconscious. Hit over the head with a gun butt. Ned Rockwell. Oh, so you know him. I knew he was here. Hey, where do you keep your matches? My shirt pocket. Reach for one. I'll light it. Slow, mister. Hold it closer to your face. This way? Yeah. A masked man, huh? Yes. Let's get rid of that belt. I've heard your voice before. Seems to me I've heard yours. But, say, that white horse outside, what do you call him? I call him. Get him, Tonto. He's right in front of you. Time to do it. Oh, he got you. Now. I'll get his gun. You can let him go now, Tonto. <laughs> well, I guess that proves what I wanted to know. Now, what's that? You're smart. Your partner was in back of you when you opened that door. You kept me talking so he could slip around the front door and grab me. Yes. Now it's your turn to answer questions. You mind if I light a match? No. I hope my disguise isn't too good. <laughs> Hello, Jim. I came pretty close to messing things up, didn't I? Aye. Howdy, Tano. Why are you here in Ghost Canyon? The same reason you are, I guess. The Black Arrow? What's that? If you don't know, never mind. The sheriff reported there were outlaws seen here about a month ago. And then just last week, he found a dead man at the entrance of the canyon. The doc reported the death was from natural causes. But some of the details made me suspicious, so I decided to investigate. Well, that's the reason for your clothes. Yeah. Way. If there were outlaws hanging around, I figured I might join up with them and find out what they've been up to. There are outlaws, all right. One of them hit young Ned Rockwell over the head. I believe it has something to do with the mine. That's possible. The mine belongs to him, you know. Yes. He came here to see if it was worth holding on to. The land's open to new prospectors if the mine isn't worked within the next month. They may be trying to keep everybody away from it. Yeah. We better take a look at the mine first. Mm, Kimotabi. What's the matter, Tonto? Night in kitchen. It's Ned. He's got that linen. Where are you, masked man? Right in here. I can't help her myself. I can hardly stand up. But even if you are a crook, you've got to do something. Help whom? What are you talking about? There was a girl outside just a minute ago. Take the lantern, Tonto. Uh -huh. Here, sit down in this chair. Oh. Now, go on now. There's a girl named Mary Hamilton. She runs the post office in town. That's my sister. Are you Jim? Yeah. Was Mary outside? No, another girl. I couldn't see her face. She kept in the shadows, but she called me by what name. What about Mary? This girl said she was waiting at your camp. But there were outlaws near there, and they might take her prisoner. Where's your camp, Jim? Not far. On the other slope of the canyon. Come on. You rode over here, didn't you? Yes. Who could this girl be, the one who brought the message? We don't know, but she's helped us before. It was her note that brought us here. Steady, Silver. Hip. Lead the way. Right. Get up, boy. Come on, Silver. Get him up, scout. Well, we ought to be hitting the main tunnel pretty soon now. Yeah. And where? To the left. That's heading for the main entrance, isn't it? Yeah. There's a place where the tunnel broadens out. That's where the boys are. Are we... Are we in the mine now? Never mind the talk, sister. Just keep moving. Does my brother belong to your gang? You're the postmistress, aren't you? Yes, but from the way Jim talked, I... Of course, he may not be using his right name. I thought you said that was your brother's camp where we found you. That's where he was camped today. No, sister. We saw that, Omri. He isn't a member of the gang. Oh, thank goodness. You'd be better off if he was. To the left here, huh? Yeah. What are you going to do with me? It depends on how nice you act. <laughs> Maybe we'll let you pay us a nice long visit. 
Okay, there's a light. Sing out to them so they'll know who you are. Don't shoot, boys. It's Jake and Mark. We got a prisoner. The hombre you went after? His sister. That's almost as good. His sister? Let's have a look at it. You can look while your tying her up. Hands and feet. Kino. How about the man in the house? <clears throat> Knocked him out like you said. That was right, huh, Mark? Yeah. We'll scare him out if we can. If he's still around tomorrow morning, we'll let him have it. And leave him outside the canyon. <laughs> You have to tie those ropes so tight. Sit down. Oh. And don't kick while I'm tying your feet. You said it was almost as good getting the girl as the man. I don't savvy. We left her horse yeah. at the camp and a trail that anybody could follow from there to here. He'll come after her. Well, you're loco. We'll be waiting for him, Sam. In about five minutes, these lanterns go out, and then we'll... I hear somebody now. Yeah, you made it fast. Out with the lights and quiet everybody. Don't let the girl make any noise. I got it. Keep back to the sides. Up with him, mister. Hey, what the... He's gone, Jake. I got it. The lantern, Sam. That isn't my brother. It's the hombre from the house, the one we knocked out. What made you come in here? I saw a light. And you had to find out what was going on, huh? I found out plenty. You've been working this mine. You've hit a vein of pure gold. That cook's your goose. The mine belongs to me. You're Ned Rockwell? Yes. It won't be yours in another month. Oh, yes, it will. You've done some work here. That saves it for me. Who's going to know we've done any work? I saw it with my own eyes. We'll close them for you. Close them for good. You can't. You can't murder him. It's easy. Just one bullet. Go ahead. After we get the girl's brother. I don't want any shooting to warn him off. Tie up Mr. Rockwell, boys, and then put out the light. We'll wait for our other visit. Let us right back to the mine. But this isn't the entrance by the house. It's a new one. Lots of fresh gravel around. The mine's being worked. They've been using this tunnel instead of the old one. Mm, Tonto not like it. Trail too easy to follow. We aren't stopping here, Kimosabe. Crook, wait for you inside mine. We'll have to have some kind of a light to go in there. We'll pick up a few pine branches. Huh. Here. Here one. Yes. Here's some more. But we won't use these until we have to. I'm worried about the other entrance. What do you mean? They can escape by it. You better go around there and stand guard, Tonto. Uh-huh. How to do it. Come along, Jim. Just a second while I get this lit. Not yet. We can follow the tunnel without a light for a while. Come on. What's the matter? Feeling the walls. Well? We've hit another tunnel at right angles to this one. Which way do we turn? The front entrance would be to the left. Let's try that. This must be the way. Yes, better be quiet. Hold it. You all right? I just stumbled. I ought to learn to pick up my feet. You suppose anybody heard that? (laughs) Mask man, that was a woman. My sister. Steady. She isn't far away. We'll go on. What? A bird inside the mine? That was Tonto. About a hundred feet up ahead. There between us and him. Yeah. Now's the time to light our torches. They'll start shooting then. I'm going to light it fast and throw it up ahead may show us where they are. If it doesn't go out too fast. The wood's dry. And over this way a little so they won't be able to see the match. Right. It's catching. Throw it. There. As the torch flared through the darkness, the outlaws opened fire. And almost at once they lost their momentary targets. The torch continued to burn where it had fallen. And the figures of the gunmen became more distinct. The leader moved quickly. Don't shoot. I'm using the girl as a shield. Stay right where you are. We'll go out the front way. Right, Get right. moving. You can see your back there, can't you? If you shoot, you'll hit her. Mark. What's the matter? Something happened to Sam. I can't see, but I heard him get out. What's going on there? You let go, a girl. You do it, Toto. Come on, Jim. Are you all right, Mary? Are you hurt? You stand still. Can't you get away and Toto hit you like others? Stand back, Toto. He's got a gun. Oh! Oh, not good. You shoot gun out of hand. Now you can talk, Mary. Are you hurt? No. Ned Rockwell's over there. Ah, time to cut rope. Take off, gang. I guess you saved my life, Jim. But I don't know whether I'm grateful or not. What do you mean by that? I can see what your friends are like now. A masked man and an engine. You are an outlaw. I don't judge your brother by the company he keeps, Miss Hamilton. He's a United States Marshal. A what? You can handle the prisoners, can't you, Jim? Sure thing. They're in no condition to make trouble. And Tonto and I will be on our way. Oh, Rockwell, all right. I sure am. Adios. So long, masked man. Front entrance, Tonto. Did I hear right? Are you really a marshal, Jim? Yeah. Then I guess you're the one to tell. 
Those crooks were trying to keep folks away from the canyon because they'd found a new vein of gold and they wanted the mine for themselves. Still belongs to you, doesn't it? Sure does. <laughs> Won't be long before I can think of getting married. Never mind that. Uh, give me a hand here, Ned. We've got to get these crooks tied up. It's a pleasure. I, I still can't understand it. How can a United States Marshal be friends with a masked man? I wish he hadn't been, that's all. Maybe you can tell her who he is. I got an idea. There isn't a crook in the West who likes to meet that particular masked man, sis. Liz Omri's right. It was he and Tano who saved your life, not me. All I did was take orders and help as much as I could. Well, who is he? There. We'll leave your feet untied. You've got a long walk ahead of you, mister. Who is he, Jim? Why, I'm almost ashamed of you, Mary, that a sister of mine could be so plum ignorant. Well, how should I That know? was the Lone Ranger. <laughs> The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 